for those of you who've been watching there, we have been on Facebook. Um, and we got a question from Lauren, who's from Las Vegas. And oh, for everyone on Safari Live, my name is Brent, and you're up in the air over the marvelous Mara. Um, and Lauren would like to know, which do I prefer? Game drives on a vehicle or game drives from or game flights from the balloon well i don't think you can compare them uh, i think they are equally wonderful and each has its own very special uh je ne sais quoi for lack of a better word there's something magnificent about being able to float over the mara just on hot air but there's also something incredible about being on the ground driving around looking for the animals Now, Laurie wants to know about the crocodiles in the Mara River, and uh, Laurie would like to know, do they have sort of set areas that they stay in, um, or, or do they move about? Well, most of them will have set territories, specifically the bigger males, and uh, they will defend those areas. Now, those areas will be high in food sources, especially during the migration, but also generally then high in females. So lots of mating opportunities to be able to uh, take advantage of. Now, Jess, Jesse, uh, would like to know whether I'm watching or in the balloon. Jesse, I'm, oh, there's some elephants. I'm actually sitting up in, uh, the, in the migration control watching uh, the balloon. We've got Manu and Jandre there. And, uh, and that goes in with uh, Eowyn. Eowyn would like to know, have I been in the balloon? I have indeed been in the balloon. Oh, look at that, Ellie. She can definitely, I think she's heard the of the, uh, of the balloon as it passed over. You just saw her ears open up and listen. Raren says it looks awesome on her 4K TV. Wow, that sounds spectacular. Dory says, so beautiful, it's just so heavenly. Uh, Stacy, do crocs ever hang out in the luggers? They do indeed. Stacy, I got quite a shock. I was uh, near Sala's camp once and uh, I found a, about a four and a half meter croc in a tiny little lugger and he had about three wildebeest around him. Kylie wants to know who do I root for the most? The lions, the crocs, the wildebeest, the zebra. It is the circle of life, um, but you have a personal choice. Well, Carly, I don't root for any of them. I just watch what's happening in front of me. And uh, that's, that's what I get enjoyment out of, seeing nature unfold. Sometimes you might be rooting for the lion. Sometimes you might be rooting for the zebra. Sometimes you might be even uh, rooting for the crocodile, as long as you never smile at a crocodile. Ewan wants to know whether I was scared when I was up in the balloon. No, I wasn't. Uh, fortunately, I'm not scared of heights, so, so I, I, I found it exhilarating. Oh, what have we got down there? We've got some water buck chewing the cud um, on one of the old extinct arms of the Mara River. Isn't that wonderful? Here we go, looking back towards the east now, upstream of the Mara River. The Mara River source is about, about, about 200 kilometers from here, no, a little bit less than that, about 180 kilometers. And uh, it is incredible. Can you believe it? It is at about 3,000 meters above sea level, uh, the source for the Mara River in the Mao Highlands. Here we go. More hippos in the river. Big crocs lying on the banks as well. Now, I'm just gonna, we should be getting a little bit close down to where the crossings come. Let me just have a look as we go wider. And uh, oh, lots of hippos there. Lots and lots of hippos. And, uh, All right, uh, we've 